Good morning viewers, welcome back to my channel once again and uh, very recently one incident has occurred like uh, recently I had given a comment uh, on a particular topic uh, for a YouTuber uh, he has uh, said uh, that like you know uh, strength is the most important thing like you know uh, in fitness like you know you should gain your strength first even for a beginner so I just simply like you know as a viewer like you know uh, I have a subscribe channel I just uh, went through this video like you know it was coming up uh, in my YouTube channel so I, I just has given a comment and, uh, and Mr. Akshay his name is Mr. Akshay and uh, he calls himself a fitness expert and uh, uh, at the same time he also runs a channel uh, by the name We Are Stupid uh, so the thing is that uh, your channel describes itself that we are stupid like you know see we are not stupid basically like you know your channel names itself is very sarcastic the name itself is sarcastic and I basically don't uh, like comment on others basically because I have just posted a comment like in the reply back what I got he made a live question answer uh, like session in YouTube and he was telling that you know Mr. Vibhu Singh uh, so and so like you know he was um, like in, in quite anger like I have not written a simple hate comment uh, in that post uh, so that uh, in uh, anger like he was telling that functional strength is the most important thing before gaining strength I have given that post and he was telling me this is all bullshit like, there is nothing there is nothing called functional strength see Mr. Akshay let me tell you that um, it's been almost so many years like you know uh, and probably I'm quite 42 years old and quite younger than me at the same time like you know I have been reading all those you know bodybuilding and muscle magazines uh, since from the age of 8 and I was fortunate one in the past 34 years I am into this bodybuilding and fitness when I was a kid because when the other kids were chewing like you know uh, like bubble gum when the other kids were chewing lollipop at that time I was reading about creatine I was reading about all those whey protein supplements and see without knowing about my background you should not comment on others neither you should comment on anybody else either he is your senior or either he is your junior you should respect each other and already there is a lot of hatred in this world that we should not spread hatred being fitness expert if you call yourself a fitness expert we should spread love happiness and health and you should always have a rest Respect and positive attitude toward the others. I have not insulted you, man. Like you know, uh, in the, but without know, uh, knowingly, my po post, uh, like you know, the comments which I have given on your post, like you know, if it is hard, I am really very sorry. But there was no intention in hurting your emotions, and I am not telling you that you are wrong or something like that. I have just given my point of view because I am also quite experienced and I have done my masters in exercise physiology and sports nutrition from Tamil Nadu Sports and Physical Education University, and I am also an IB master in it. And I have also been in this fitness industry for the past so many years, more than. 20 years and like you know I have trained so many trainers and the first fitness academy and the pioneer of the first fitness academy in the entire North Eastern region I have said this many times like you know uh, so the thing is that you should go and check out my background man like you know before commenting on me and as far as the knowledge is concerned like you know you told me that there is no nothing such called functional strength let me tell you one thing you are to you always used to tell in your videos that you have done a lot of research and that and this and that so research and basically even I do a lot of research it hardly matters like you know even if you deserve the, the main part is that you should be able to make your viewers understand see I don't have a lot of viewers I don't have even a lot of subscribers and I'm my main idea of you know opening up this YouTube channel is to share my knowledge the scientific knowledge which I gain through studies through my studies extensive years of studies as I told you I have been in touch with this bodybuilding and fitness from the age of eight and 34 years of experience and uh, thing is that uh, even I do a study uh, do a lot of study and I always explain all the details in very simplified language instead of using all those bombastic languages like you do and one more thing you told me that there is nothing called functional strength let me explain you fully and you, you are talking about research I have got some references also I will tell you what is research called see thing is that um, in that video you told that you know uh, based on the fitness components uh, you know uh, fitness components like strength after strength I know that fitness components are like you know six in number basically the six the six additional is like is from my side because I I think although people accept that there are five components of fitness but I believe that is six components because there is a reason behind that uh, if you study go through it you will be able to know the scientific literature if you go through that you will come to know thing is that first is cardiovascular fitness second is strength then muscular endurance then flexibility body composition the last what i believe the sixth fitness component is the recovery because recovery is also very important anyway so let's come back to the topic thing is that you told 
you already mentioned in that video that uh, you know that strength below strength is flexibility so i to i have mentioned that comment that flexibility is of most importance why let me tell you because you already mentioned that you know uh, if according to the hierarchy of the fitness components uh, if you are pointing that uh, like you know strength is the most important part what about cardiovascular fitness cardiovascular fitness is at the top is number one fitness components that doesn't mean that you have to depend on cardiovascular fitness to gain strength so if that is your point of view i don't think so man like you are doing this i don't know where you are doing all those researchers and who are writing your research papers and being a youtuber and being a fitness expert if somebody asks you a question you should answer in a very humble manner with less ego and less attitude because we are here to serve people we are here to uh, motivate the youngsters not to fight among each other and not to throw mud on each other like you know aapko zyada pata hai mujhe zyada pata hai it that's not like that but i'm ready to like face, have a face to face interview that's not a big deal with me <clears throat> i've been doing a lot of uh, like seminars and all in hospitals like in all the you know well known hospitals schools colleges that's not a big deal for me so thing is that again back to the topic about functional training see functional training you already mentioned that there is nothing called functional training <coughs> let me tell you function is basically those movements it refers to those movements which are genetically coded in your body suppose we squat we swallow we sit on the chair we get up you know we pull yourself up so these are all functional exercises but the thing is that before gaining functional strength or any kind of strength you should work on your flexibility why because muscles are like you know it's just like rubber bands like you know if one of your muscle is tight and it will the pull the bone in the other direction and if one of the muscle is relaxed the other opposite muscle will get be weaker so thing is that if your body's alignment body's biomechanics is not proper and without proper biomechanics if some muscles are like for example like when you squat and if your adductor muscles the muscles in the inside of your thigh you know adduction you know about adduction bringing the limb or your leg towards the middle of the body that is called adduction so that is a term kinesiological term and that is called the movement terminology let me tell you there are two terminologies in kinesiology one is anatomical terminology that is called the origin or insertion or supination these are all <coughs> like you know dorsal frontal these are all anatomical terminology supination pronation these are all movement terminology so according to kinesiology movement terminology adduction so if your adductor muscles are too tight and if you squat what will happen your knee will collapse you will have a knock knee and collapse so what i am trying to tell you is that i was trying to inform you like you know it's very difficult to you see exercise science is a very big chapter and it's very difficult for you or me to know all the things it's just like a universe and the scientific literature is very uncertain things keep on changing but there is a simple logic that if your adductor muscles are weak then you have to if you are tight then you have to stretch and make them come into the alignment because otherwise without stretching your adductor muscle if you squat what will happen <coughs> and moreover i have also mentioned the first law of nature is adaptation because see we train right we train our muscle grows and there are a lot of people who don't train you know we have a habit of training because we have muscles in our body because muscles are designed to work against the pull of the gravity and <clears throat> thing is that there are a lot of people who don't even work out also so i don't feel good i feel depressed when i don't work out and there are a lot of people who really feel depressed and like unhappy when they don't play football so it's just like that it's just adaptation it's just a habit exercise is a habit it is a part of our daily life so thing is that without like you know by improving your flexibility if you put too much of stress on your ligaments and tendons and muscle they are going to tear up that is called avulsion fracture you know the your your, your flexibility will be compromised at the same time you will have a serious injury i'm just trying to inform that i'm not telling you that you are wrong and absolutely wrong but you are telling me that i am absolutely wrong i'm like you talking bullshit that's wrong man like you know and about functional that i have already told you and there are lot of researchers <coughs> i have got all the references and there is a particular research which has published on like you know in 2019 Uh, like you know that's uh, the research is like you know it's published in the journal of american directors association and the and the and the research is uh, like you know it's uh, based on the effects of resistance training on functional strength and muscle mass in 70 year old individuals with pre sarcopenia means those people who are suffering from sarcopenia or um, uh, like loss of muscle because of old age diseases or normal old ages 
uh, they have to go for functional exercises, functional strengthening. See, functional resistance exercise. And now you tell me, resistance exercise doesn't mean only lifting weights. If you are doing push-ups also, that is called resistance exercise. Push-up is more functional than bench press because functional exercises are those exercises which are basically those uh, movements which are basically done by a body without using any other external sources. Suppose, <clears throat> for example, you are doing free squats, okay, and you are doing barbell squat. Barbell squat is a functional weight training exercise, and free squat is a functional exercise. Basic exercise. I am talking about the basic exercises, and I am talking about push-ups. Why? Because if you make a person go through all those machinery work because the machines of the freeway machines basically move in a particular direction if you go for some functional exercise what will happen you will be using your bone your joints your bones your ligaments your own biomechanics and you'll be doing in a very comfortable manner without hurting your joint because everybody's um, uh, like in you know, muscle joints your muscle belly the length of muscle belly the joints that completely different everybody has their different body shape different uh, like strengths, different weakness. You know, you might see a lot of people who have got a sway bag, we have got protruded belly, they have got a lot of lordotica, they have a poor posture. Until and unless you correct the posture, improve their flexibility, you tell me how are you going to fix strength? How are you going to make them do weight training? That's why <clears throat> we always go for functional movement screen. Let me, before coming to functional movement screen, I think you know, might not have heard about functional movement screen because uh, it's very mandatory that you are talking about strength and conditioning and if you are talking about strength and conditioning, you should know about functional movement screen. And uh, traditional training, <coughs> uh, traditional uh, strength training versus functional strength training, again, it's a, like you know, and its effects on muscle strength and power in elderly. Published in the Journal of Aging Physical Activity, January 21st, 2018. Aap check kar lijiye. Thing is that apne bola ki functional training strength yada kuch nahi hai. See, functional is a word. It's a term. It's an umbrella term. It refers to a lot of activities, a lot of physical activities which can be done by a human being. It can be done by a, a, a human being like you and me. Uh, without using any kind of equipment, the kind of movements we use and the kind of movements which we use, multi-directional movements. See, basically, uh, again, I have to explain your kinesiology because think there are five types of movements. Okay, linear movement, rectilinear movement, curvilinear movement, rotatory movement, general plane motion. So these are all different kind of movements or motions which occurs in our body. And whenever you are doing all these um, motions or movements more than two movements are occurring that is called the general plane motion whatever motion you do in the general plane motion is called functional training without using any external equipments and uh, functional training is necessary to gain confidence to gain balance and stability in your body uh, that's it's very important and uh, regarding uh, without lengthening the video let me come to the point again uh, I mean the point itself. Uh, now, the functional movement screen. Basically, functional movement screen is basically used to assess the functional ability of the person. And basically, it's, uh, this part one is published in International Journal of Sports Physical Therapy <coughs> on 9th May 2014. Earlier also, there are a lot of functional movement screen uh, topic being published, but I'm just giving you the latest one. And there are basically three kinds of functional movement screen. The deep squat, where you have to go deep and you have to check the range of motion, the biomechanics, the hurdle step, where you have to put a bar or a bamboo stick behind your hand, just like in a squat position, and you have to, like, you know, you have to, just like in hurdle race, you have to, uh, like, you know, uh, get on top of the hurdles and you have to, without touching your hips or knee, you have to cross that and inline lunges. Again, you have to hold the bar like this and you have to do lunges in the proper line. So, this assesses your balance, stability, and coordination of your body. And uh, let me tell you, there are other components of fitness also which is basically called the skill related fitness components. They are power, speed, agility, coordination, balance, stability. These are all other uh, skill related components. You are talking only about fitness components. I am also telling you about skill related components because without having the basic fundamental strength or flexibility or the basic, for example, if you are not able to like, you know, lift your arm overhead, and you are telling me that without improving the flexibility of my shoulders, I have to do dumbbell press, I have to build strength. I agree, strength is the most important part. But without the basic, the base, the base is flexibility. 
so you go and check on that and please uh, the, if I, if my video has hurt you uh, like you know I'm really very sorry but the thing is that I have not posted that comment in anger and the only reason I have taken your name and your channel's name is because you have mentioned my name you might have without mentioning my name you might have answered it back and uh, even uh, I follow Jim Stopani, Brad Scornfield, uh, Jacob Wilson and in your videos what I have seen is that you are the only guy who has been doing research in the whole world and nobody does researches. So thing is that uh, it's better you uh, study more, you need a lot of study and at the same time let me tell you that even the top most, one of the top most fitness experts, Jim Stopani, even if I ask him questions through Instagram or Facebook, even he replies back in a very polite manner. Sometimes I ask some contradictory way. Even he replies back in the comment. Be professional, man. Be professional. And like, you know, I've been like in this fitness industry uh, for so many years. Like, you know, uh, I'm, I really appreciate that you are running this channel to educate the trainers, uh, to educate the, your viewers. And uh, I basically uh, run this channel not to increase my viewers, just to pass on the information, science-based, evidence-based information. And next time when you do research, go for randomized control trials, meta-analysis and systemic review. Systemic review, this is going to give you a right and include all the journals and try to decode them. Try to correlate them and present them in a professional manner. So next time, it's an advice from my side, suggestion from my side, whenever somebody, a young sir or a senior to you ask a question, please answer them in polite with less ego and attitude. Thanks for watching this channel. Thank you. Have a good day.